video now in today's video this is this is my I'm continuing my clipper how to series how to um, to do certain configuration in clipper and so I'm continuing on this series here um, you see I see that my video has been helping a lot of people I'm getting a lot of feedback on, on Facebook and um, it feels good to see that my videos are actually helping to contribute to such an awesome 3d printing community um, you guys have really gave me a lot of life through the pandemic actually 3d printing as a whole and again the awesome community behind it has given me a, a, a awesome opportunity during the pandemic um, I know I don't post a lot but I try to post interesting topics I try not to copy everybody and try to put a unique uh, unique taste to this um, and you know again just just trying to present that information because like I said this community is very awesome and so I just want to contribute in the best way I know how so you don't mind subscribing hitting that like button hit the notification bell so when I post something interesting you guys can check it out I really appreciate that now in this video we're gonna continue from the last video so the last video I kind of demonstrated how to set up the clicky probe um, and um, so in this video I'm continuing from that because I did promise that I wanted to sh um, show you guys how to set up the automatic Z calibration if you have a clicky probe and a a Z end stop switch like a Voron setup. So we're going to continue from there. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and visit the Protoloft uh, Clipper Z calibration uh, GitHub page. Okay. So if you want to record that down here, I might put a link in the description of the video. But if you just want to record that, visit that, follow along with me, that would be awesome. Um, the main thing you're going to focus on in this is just grabbing this uh, Python file, you have this Python script, right? If you want to continue reading all of this stuff, you can. I've read through it. It's, he's just giving you some information, what the purpose is, change log, all that type of thing. So you can go through it and see what it really, really does. But basically, generally, it's just taking the offset of the switch and the nozzle here, and then the offset, um, um, the probe offset between the probe switch here and the offset and then doing some calculation in the background in order to determine the correct height and nozzle offset from the bed. Um, it's almost like a bill touch in a way, um, where you set, you know, you set the offset for a bill touch, a genuine bill touch in this case. And um, you can use any type of bed, whether that's a, you know, G10 Garolite bed, um, a PI spring steel sheet bed with magnets or a glass bed. Basically, it doesn't matter what you swap, you don't have to change your offset unless you change the nozzle. Now, then you would have to readjust that offset. But in this case, I think the nozzle should be fine with it too as well. Don't don't quote me on that. What the purpose is, is basically, it doesn't matter what your bed surface is, it can probe that, generate the appropriate offset with this automatic calibration and calculation, and you can print like normal and get a nice first layer each and every time. That's the purpose. So, um, without no further ado, let's continue. So we're gonna download this this Z calibration.py. We're gonna download it. Then we're gonna navigate to our uh, our the, the folder within our pod. Okay. So in order to access that, I use Win SCP. Um, so let me bring this over here. Let me log in to my Trident. Um, I'm using my Trident today as a demonstration. But you will log into your Win SCP once you access that. You're gonna get to if you're if you're from if you're in if you landed in the home of your pie, it'll be the home pie clipper clippy and then extra um, extras, okay? Um, and you're gonna drop it in here. This is where you're gonna drop that file. So you're gonna drag that file that you download this, and then 
drop it. You can drag and drop it right in, okay? Once you drag and drop that file, that's part of it. You just drag and drop it, that's it. So you can close that out. Now, when you come here from the last video, you're gonna go to your machine. If I'm using Maintail in this case, it's similar with Fluid, you know, again, as long as you can access this, the config file area, you should be okay. Um, if you go to where it says now, Clicky Probe here, before I had this hashtagged out, right, because I didn't have the, the appropriate uh, 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 script and files in order for, it, for to make use of this. So you have to actually tag it out else you would get an error. But now that we dropped that file in, now we can go ahead and remove the hashtag. As you can see, it's already removed from me, but it will look like this, basically. You remove the hashtag to activate it, right? We're just gonna hit save and close. We won't restart yet. Then we're gonna go here, okay? From the last video, we added this, right? We added this with the, with the whole uh, cookie probe uh, macros and all of the script it needed. So we're gonna go here where it says clicky probe Z calibration. Um, so in here, you're gonna type a couple of information that it needs, right? So just like the last video, reference in the last video, it says the X and Y coordinates for for clicky for clicking the nozzle on the end stops on the Z end stop switch. So this is a coordinate to for my Z end stop switch, right? So that's where my Z end stop switch is located. So this is what it's asking for. Now it says that X Y X and Y coordinates. A millimeter for clicking the probes switch body on the Z end stop. So this is where the probe, the body of the probe, okay, so you have the probe, then you have the probe switch. You want the body of the probe hitting the switch, not the switch of the probe, but the body of the probe hitting the switch, okay? That's where you're gonna um, um, grab that information. And again, in order to get that information, once you own the printer, so I'm gonna give you a demonstration since I have the video up. So, you will own the printer. I'm gonna go ahead and own my printer real quick. Oh, look like my camera might have phrased up here. Hopefully it didn't. Okay, let me see if I can fix that camera because I would like to you guys to actually see that. So let me pause this and see real quick. All right, guys, we're back. I think I fixed it. So let's do that homing one more time. There we go. So I just want you guys to see the homing. And then I'm going to grab the probe and pay attention to the coordinates because that's where you're going to gra grab the, the coordinates from. So now it's homing the Z. Then mine is going to park in the center because that's what I, I, I set it to do. Now... All you would do in order to, to get the coordination for the for the probe switch body is I'm gonna go ahead and attach my, my clicky probe. So I'm gonna hit attach probe. It's gonna grab the probe. Now, all I gotta do is I will just drag the two heads. So I'll just use this arrow to move the two head over my switch. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 10. I'm gonna back it up. As you can see, I'm backing it up. Then I'm gonna move it. I'm just, gonna, I'm just eyeing it. So let's move it to one millimeter. Back it up just a little bit more. I'm back a little bit. So, and then what you can do is, is, is raise up the Z just a little bit. Not for the nozzle to slam into it, but raise up the Z a little bit. So what we can do is we can move the Z. Man. There we go. We can move the Z. There we go. So that. So how to find the coordinates now? If you look up here, you see so it says X192 and Y303. That will be my coordinates for the probe switch body because I can look and see that the probe switch body, not the switch, but the probe body is over the end stop switch itself, all right? So that's, you would take this coordinate and you will go ahead and then you will come back to where it says Z calibration here, click your Z calibration, and you'll plug that right here. So my accurate probe switch body for me is 190 on the X 
and 304 on the on the actual uh, on the Y, right? So that's how you gain that information. That goes for anything that you may do in the past, whether that's for the you know quad gantry leveling, uh, Z tilt, anything that has to do with any coordination and movement of the tool head. That's how you find the coordination by dragging the tool head and finding the path you need. Okay. So the next one says. XY coordinates in millimeter for probing on the print surface. Now, this, basically, you can just find the center of your bed, okay? Um, so I just probe mine in the center of the bed because honestly, the center, the center of the bed would be the reference point for your mesh. So if you use a bed mesh, the center of the bed is usually a reference point. Um, and how to find that out? Usually, you can just count the probe points. So, for example, if you have 16 probe points, you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so you say right around seven would be this almost the center of the bed, um, um, in approximation. Um, so um, it's and then you can set the reference point and then the coordinate for the the probe to um, do the z uh, the calibration right there. Sorry, I'm getting jumbled, but that's you can set the reference point where the where, where the index for your bed mesh is, which basically is the center of your bed. So that's 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 the point I was trying to make. Sorry. Um, so this is the center point of my bed or approximate center point of my bed, right? And so down here is very important. Now, the default for this is 40.42 uh, millimeters. It's a offset um, and um, you can try to print with it, but let's say if your nozzle is too close, the smaller this number is, the more the nozzle is away from the bed. The bigger the number is, like this, the closer the nozzle is to the bed. That's what it's saying right here, okay? So let's say if you are, if you get it working, right? And your nozzle, the first time you print your nozzle is a little too close to the bed, of course you can do um, Z offset on the fly, baby step in the Z to make sure you're not scratching the bed. But then you can come back here, based off the, 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 the auto Z calibration uh, information, um, whether it's a negative or positive Z offset, you can come back here and adjust this in order to make sure the nozzle closer or away from the bed. So like I said, the bigger this number, the nozzle is away from the bed. The smaller the number, the nozzle, no, sorry. <laughs> the bigger the number, the nozzle is closer to the bed. And the smaller the number, the nozzle is far away from the bed. So you have to play with that in order to find that nice sweet spot of where you get a nice perfect first layer and then leave it alone. Um, so that's it. So once you get all that's working, I usually don't touch anything here. Everything here um, coordinates with the regular clicky clicky probe variable, so you don't really have to touch it. All you have to worry about is this: the probe, um, the probe nozzle, the probe switch, the probe bed, and then the switch offset. I, I, I don't really touch deviation, but those those four parameters here is what you will edit in this config. Now you can save close and restart it. So I'm going to restart mine as an example. Um, save my old pop up. See if it'll come back up. All right, now it came back up. So another cool thing what I love about this new clicky probe setup, it automatically docks the probe once it sends the trigger point. So instead of docking the probe, you before this Usually, before they update the clicky probe variable, the clicky probe config and everything, when you try to home the Z, the probe will still be on the tool head. And sometimes that can cause issue. The tool, you know, depends on how your, your bed area is set up, that um, if um, the actual probe can hit, <laughs> hit the actual bed when it's coming up and cause a lot of issues. Um, so I like the fact that now this probe senses um, that the probe is attached and actually only homes the X and the Y and then docks the clicky probe. Because remember, the clicky probe only matter in the X and Y direction. It doesn't matter in the Z, right? Unless you have it specifically set up for the Z. But it's only, it, it's, um, most people mount it on the gantry, a fixed mount. So it only matter in the X and Y, Z coordination. And it will just home the tool head. But I'm talking too much, so I want to give a demonstration. So if I hit home, you will see it own the tool head in the X and Y and then dock the clicky probe and then home the Z, which is really nice. See, now it docks the clicky probe, then it comes and then it homes the Z. 
and that's nice because it prevents you from having the clicky probe attached to the to the tool head and then when it tries to home depends on how you see set up it might smash into something so that's really really clever and kudos to the guys developing that um that um that that script to make it do that now so to give a demonstration let me turn the lights on here so you guys can see let me turn down this a little bit to give a demonstration let me turn my status light on. I really like my steady light. I need to put up a, a, a what's the name so it starts up with this status light. So, to give a demonstration, what will happen, what the, the actual the, the whole thing does, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a demonstration of that. So, if I come here, I'm just gonna cheat. And nope, if I go to here and I copy this. I'm gonna give a demonstration of what will happen. So this is the result you should have. Once you put this command in, this is what it should do. And I want you guys to see the results. So I'm gonna move this. Now it's gonna grab the probe. And then remember the coordinates for the, the probe switch body on the ZN stop, there we go. And there we go, so it's now hitting the probe body against the Z and stop switch. Then if you, then it's gonna probe the center of the bed where, where I set the index, or approximately the index of the bed meshes. Then it's gonna spit out an offset, there you go. So if it's doing that for you, kudos, you got it, and it's working good. So like I said, if you uh, follow those steps that I just showed you, I already set it up, but follow those steps I just showed you and it should work. It's pretty easy. Like I said, you know, again, you just download this file. A real quick recap, download this file, add it into your, log into, you know, use Win, Win SCP or whatever method you use to log into the, 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 the um, where you're able to see the Pi folder, the folder of the Pi, log into it. Make sure it's in the extras folder. So that's home, Pi, Clipper, Clippy extra. Make sure you drag and drop it in here. Once that's done, you go come here back to machine, go to Clicky Pro. Make sure you remove the hashtag. Okay, remove the hashtag away from the, the to activate it. Remove the hashtag from the, the the Clicky Z calibration. Save and close. Don't restart yet. Then go to your um, your Z calibration, the Clicky Z calibration, and put in the coordinates for each of these specific things, for the nozzle, for the switch, and for the bed. And then, you know, again, once you once that's working, then you can mess with this after you started doing a test print to make sure everything's working. Then you can edit this. Now, remember, the value, the bigger the value, the bigger this value, the closer the nozzle is to the bed. The smaller the value, the nozzle is more away from the bed. So that's what you edit in order to adjust that offset and get it nice and tight. Okay, so I hope that this was very helpful. I know I kind of rant a little bit, but you know, for those who watch my video notes that I love to explain myself and go into little details, and um, I don't mean to rant, but you know, I'm just so passionate to show you guys that I end up <laughs> going on a tangent. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, guys. I appreciate the subscription. There's more video to come, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.